Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I am Eric and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Kim Decent X96 Android TV box. Cool little Android TV box to add to your entertainment system. It's built with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It is pre-rooted and it is pre-installed with Kodi. I'll talk about some of those features in a minute. First, let's talk about how it comes packaged. Great packaging, very high-end looking packaging. Nice matte finish black box with gold lettering. You open it up and inside you have everything you need to really get started. You not only have this great little box, you also have a remote control that should control all the basic features of the box. Uh, has a dedicated Kodi button up there to jump straight into Kodi, as well as setup button to jump into settings, an apps button, and you can uh, use this to do most of your basic features without any problem. Also comes with an HDMI cord to connect to your TV, the power cord of course, which you need to power it, and then also an infrared extender. Uh, and that's because like if you mount this on the back of your TV or if you put this in a cabinet, uh, the infrared sensor is here on the front uh, but if it's blocked or if it's behind your TV, that wouldn't work. So there's an infrared extender that you can plug in back here and put that to a place where this infrared remote can reach it. So it's kind of cool that they include that in the box as well. Uh, let's talk about what the box has on it physically. You have a uh, micro SD card slot right here, so you can extend the memory with that. It does come with uh, 16 gigabytes of memory built into it, which is for an Android TV box, is probably as much as you're ever gonna need. But if you wanted to do some crazy things with it, especially since it is pre-rooted, then you can make use of that micro SD card slot. You have two USB ports here. You can use that to connect uh, peripheral devices, such as a wireless mouse and keyboard, which is probably something I'd recommend. You can you know, get a Logitech version of that fairly inexpensively, and that would definitely add to the functionality of this, um, especially because this remote sometimes can be a little bit hard to use uh, compared to a mouse, uh, which is really easy to use to navigate around stuff. Um, or you can get an air mouse and you can plug the USB for the air mouse. Uh, one thing to note on that uh, matter is that this does not have Bluetooth. It's one of the features that this doesn't have. Again, this is more of a meant to be used just as an Android TV box for watching movies and TV shows and things. So it doesn't have all the features that like an Android tablet would have or some of the Android boxes that uh, are built to basically be a tablet on your TV. This is more uh, geared towards just using it as an Android TV or Google TV to watch TV. So it does not have uh, Bluetooth installed. So that's important to know. Uh, on the back here, you do have the IR remote jack as well as an audio uh, out jack. You have your ethernet port to plug in directly to the internet if you want to, um, but it does have built-in Wi-Fi, no antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna is built into here and works great. Uh, I was able to connect to my Wi-Fi right away with no problem at all. And uh, you know, however fast your Wi-Fi is, you've got that speed coming into here uh, to stream HD video without any issues. So, but the Ethernet port is there, especially if you don't have a good Wi-Fi, you can plug in directly. You have your uh, HDMI port, you have your optical sound out, which is great if you're gonna plug this into your uh, receiver in order to get surround sound and stuff like that. You won't really get sound, you would wanna use the optical port for that. And then your power port right there. That's it, nothing on this side. And the front just has this little indicator that a little LED indicator that glows in blue when you're powered on and turns red when you're powered off. Again, very small little box, uh, but pretty powerful. It uh, is equipped with uh, four quad core, it is a quad core processor, um, and it has a uh, uh, really good uh, set up for use with TV. Now, as far as what is built on it, like I said, it does come pre-installed with Kodi. I would probably say that is the prime reason to buy this box. This box is less expensive than many of the Android TV boxes. Um, again, because it is smaller, it doesn't have Bluetooth, and it's really geared towards just using it as a TV box. Um, it has that Kodi pre-install, so you don't have to worry about installing Kodi. It's on there for you. You can use it right from the get-go. Um, it also has a few other uh, TV uh, 
entertainment related apps built into it. Um, I'm going to show you one right now. You'll see this one allows you to stream live TV from several European countries as well as a few other countries around the world. You can stream live TV. It also has other just ran, you know sort of random stations that are on the internet that you can watch also has stations that show like lots of old movies and things like that um, so it is is there for you honestly i probably would never use this app there's nothing on there that i'm really interested in it is all broadcast in sd if you do not subscribe you can subscribe and get it in hd and also do away with ads but just as it is for free it's just sd streaming um, but you know, if you're maybe from one of those countries and you want to be able to watch some of that live TV from those countries, then that is pre-installed. Um, there's an app called Showbox that's pre-installed. I think it's supposed to allow you to watch uh, movies, uh, probably legally, but uh, movies uh, for free, uh, kind of like Cody. Uh, it's called Showbox, but that app, I, that app didn't work for me um, on the box at all, so I'm not really counting that. I was able to use Kodi with no problem at all, which basically can give you access to just about anything you can imagine you'd want to watch. Um, although again, probably not legal, depending on where you are and what you're watching and what you have paid for. But just putting that out there, but it is it, Kodi works great on this box, um, and that's primarily what I'm probably going to use it for. Also, though, you can install your own apps, so like Watch ESPN. Uh, I was able to install Watch ESPN on here and. Uh, I was able to watch, use it to watch football games and things like that without any problem at all. Also installed a Facebook app so that I could check my Facebook feed. Um, my Gmail I could check, but I would really not going to use a TV box to do that. And again, that's not really what this kind of a box is for. Um, but you can do stuff like that as well if you want to. Uh, as far as playing games go, it's going to be a hit and miss playing games. This really isn't a game player. Um, and a lot of Android TV boxes are that way because the games are meant to be used with a touch screen and you're sort of emulating a touch when you use your mouse and stuff, but it doesn't always work with games. So I wouldn't really, you know, if you're looking for a game box, I probably wouldn't recommend this for that or any Android TV for that matter. This is entertainment, it's for TV shows, it's for watching movies and stuff. Um, things like HBO Go, Netflix, it's pre-installed, so if you subscribe to Netflix, you can watch that. Uh, you could also do Amazon Video, things like that. That's really what this is for. Um, in comparison to, say, a Chromecast or a Fire Stick, the, really the big advantage of this is that you have access to Kodi uh, pre-built in and ready to go. Uh, the device is also completely rooted, so if you're into doing root things uh, and tweaking, then you can do that because this is rooted. Um, it does have over-the-air updates to update it. You don't have to connect to the internet or anything. It will update over the air, and I updated it uh, twice since I've had it, uh, and I've had it for several weeks. Um, so you can do that as well. Overall, good device. Uh, works well uh, for that purpose. If that's something you're in the market for, uh, just a little Android TV box, especially if you want to use Kodi, then you can buy this. You don't have to worry about, you can install Kodi on a Fire Stick, but it's kind of a, you have to do some crazy workaround stuff. Maybe you don't want to deal with any of that. You just want to buy something that has Kodi built in and that you can also add a few apps like Watch ESPN and you can also use your Netflix and stuff, then this is a good box for you. Again, it is the X96 Android TV box by Kim Decent. Um, nice little box, comes with everything you need and uh, works really great for watching Kodi as well as other streaming services. Of course, I'll have a link in the description below. You can click that link, jump over to Amazon. You can uh, read what other people have said about it, read all the specs, get all the information you need and pick one up for yourself. Anyway, that is it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in a little Android TV box, then please share this video with them. You can do that on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. All those are down there. Just click the right button. Jump over to my channel. Check out all my product reviews, all kinds of electronics and gadgets and household uh, products and kitchen appliances and even some dog products. Lots of stuff over there. If you're an Android person and you have an Android phone, check out my Android app review playlist. I only review apps that help make your phone better, so you'll find lots of interesting stuff in that playlist as well. Anyway, that is going to be it. Until next time, so have a great day.